Well, we are back with episode four of Ahsoka, the episode that seems to be getting tens out of tens. Praise to the high heavens, even by the likes of Grace Randolph, because she has such great takes when it comes to media. As she says, Ahsoka episode four finally reaches Game of Thrones levels, which is funny because I'm actually re-watching Game of Thrones at the moment. So I can safely confirm that no, it fucking isn't. I, I guess you could say... It reaches Game of Thrones levels of autism, like Jon Snow screaming at a dragon. That's about the equivalent of what this show is at the moment. But that is what we're, what we're getting with this show so far. Uh, you know, it's shit. It's pretty much overall shit. It's got nowhere. I don't know where it's going, what its game plan is. It seems to just be, should we do this? Should we, you know, that's all it really seems to be doing. Not much more than that. So we are here with episode four. Ten out of ten episode, everyone, because lightsabers made an appearance. That's the reason why we all know it. So previously, where we left off, uh, we had that very incredibly shit space battle. One of the most one of the most terrible space battles I think we've ever seen. Just nothing makes any sense. Nobody follows any logic. And then we land on this planet that is where the Stonehenge thing is. Uh, and that's where our heroes are now. Our heroes that we could I couldn't give a fuck less if they died or not. It, it's still funny that all we've really gotten out of this series so far is Ray Stevenson's good. That's it. Uh, he's the only character I don't want to die. Because he's the, the only character that has anything interesting to say anything interesting about him, whereas with Sabine and Ahsoka, that is non-existent. That is totally non-existent, uh, but people seem to like them for some reason. I, I don't understand why, because there's, there's just no character here. None of them have any character other than Ray Stevenson. There's actually things you can pull from what he says, whereas with Ahsoka and Sabine, you just don't get any of that. So we start off on this planet... They're trying to mend the ship, as as you do, and then Sabine goes and goes outside to talk to Ahsoka. Uh, they, she tells her, our comms are down, uh, our, the converter is, is offline, you know, we can't send a, a distress signal, our ship is going nowhere, a bit like this show. So Ahsoka says, oh well, Hai Young says that, that their ground base is over there, so we're going we're gonna to go there at some point in about 10 minutes. You know, they just decide to go. When they later on get attacked, you, you, they don't just go straight away. It takes them about half an hour to get prepared. So that's what they're, what they're going to plan to do. We get a, a bit of a conversation between the two with Ahsoka basically letting her know the enemies have the map and the means to get where they want to go, you know, meaning uh, Admiral Thrawn. So that means we're going to have a difficult choice. You know, essentially, we're going to have to destroy this map. You know, if we can't go and get Ezra, then no one should be going. Uh, which is, yeah, of course, you, you, you don't want, even if you want to get Ezra back, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want also Fraun to get back as well. Because that is just going to start an all-out war. So she's basically saying this to Sabine uh, because Sabine cares about Ezra because they were like, they were like sisters or something. Uh so she, and she's like, "Oh, can I count on you?" Uh, of course, the answer to that is probably not. Uh, and uh, you know, you'd be right in thinking that because later on, later on, she just fucks over. You know, fuck the the galaxy. I'm going to give this map back to the bad guys. Who's seen that coming? Sabine, the person that ran off with the map and lost the map because she's fucking stupid. You know, who would have thought? It's, she's now the reason why the bad guys are going to get the map again. So that is what they're, what they're planning to do. I don't think we get much more out of that. Just Sabine saying, oh, you know, it won't come uh, it won't come, uh, come to that. Ahsoka's like, it might have done already. It's like, well, it, it, you, you know, you're already, you're already out of time, really. You should realistically already be out, be out of time. Because once the, the Empire, the Witch, whatever the fuck... Once they've they've seen the map, they know where to go. They no longer have use for the map, so it's like you, you, I, 
you know, the way they play it out in this episode, I, I don't know why the witch hasn't decided to input the location that they're going to into a ship already. They seem to leave it to the last minute. They have to wait a minute. They read the script and realized, hold on, we have to wait so we can give the opportunity to Ahsoka and Sabine to stop us. Uh, but realistically, it's like you got the map, look at the location, input it into your ship, and go. That's that's really all it comes down to. Uh, apparently, it's just, you know, we'll get to it, but it's just some sequence they have to go through in order to input it into the, you know, the anal ring uh, that sits just, just above this planet. Uh, where we've also got space whales. I thought the space whales were going to be put in the center of the rings. You know, I thought they'd be that fucking stupid to do something like that. Uh, where we just have this big ring and a whale inside it. And they fly off to this other galaxy. Uh, that's what I thought they were doing it, but it seems like that's not what they're doing. So, yeah, Ahsoka's just making sure, you know, she's like, can I count on you? Again, it's like, no. no, no why? I, I don't know why you want to count on her. It's like, she, she clearly loves Ezra for some reason. We were just told that they they were like uh, she was like a sister to him. That's all we really know about her and Ezra's relationship. So, so that's what they're, they're going to get ready to go to this this ground base. They've now been found because, of course, Balon has sent them off to look for them. I find it funny that Ahsoka, knowing that these people are going to be looking for them, you you think you would have some sort of perimeter, you know, alarm. So if they get near, you know, all you have to do is get some cans, put it around the perimeter, and, and then if people come and, you know, get towards you, you know that they're there. But there, there seems to be no, just a lack of vigilance. But it's like, you know that these people are coming. You know they're going to be searching for you. Why are you not prepared for that outcome? Why are you not being vigilant for that? Uh, again, there's just all these things that don't get don't get thought of. But it's just like, yeah, but surely you could consider that. Uh, but no, so they've now been found. Uh, yeah, you know, again, there's no, there's no like worry, like shit. We better get this ship prepared, uh, get this ship fixed before they come and get us. There's just no concern about anything. And that some of that comes from the performance. Parts of it come from the writing. That there's just, just no, no worry. Very similar to the shit space battle we got in the previous episode where where there's just there's there's nothing they're not concerned when it's like you got all these ships coming after you shooting at you it's like a very dangerous situation and they just don't seem to comprehend it um so that so it's just just none of it really fucking makes any sense does it really so yeah they come back they tell Balon right we found them they're a few clicks out so we're going to go we're going to go and get them he sends them off so we're getting close to our lightsaber fights. That's why it's getting praised. We all know it. Uh, that, that's the funny thing that you notice about this show is that the, the people that do praise, you know, it's, it's just fucking dog shit writing. That's what it is. But when you, whenever you see praise, about it, it's just very superficial things. It's like, oh, well, that was cool. You know, this, the things that get praised have nothing of substance within them. That there's just nothing. So that seems to be where a lot of the praise goes, especially, you know, with anything Star Wars. Um, so they have a conversation, you know, about some shit. Uh, yeah, it's just, again, it's just Ahsoka, you know, trying to get through to her that, you know, don't, don't fuck me over on this. We don't want Thrawn coming back. So she's just like, you know, I know you care about Ezra. Because, I don't know, you're like a sister to him or something. Uh, I know you care about him, but sometimes, you know, we we have to do the right thing, even if it, you know, it's personally not what we want to do. So that that's essentially what, they, what they're going for there. Uh, Sabine is somehow like, you really believe that? Well, yeah, most people believe that. You know, do the right thing. even You know, that's called being a hero. You know, I, I don't know why you have to ask someone. You really believe? Well, yeah. I, I mean, she's a Jedi. She does things to help people. So, of course, she believes that, yeah, you have to sacrifice certain things in order to stop certain evil coming back. 
Uh, again, I, I don't know. I Every time, it's like, so we're supposed to believe that Sabine and Ahsoka have already done something, you know, in the aspect of training, you know, before this, this the events of this show. You know, it doesn't happen in the, in the, you know, it doesn't happen in the Rebels, from what I understand. Uh, but here, it's like, right, you, you've already trained her somewhat as an apprentice before this show. But they, they always act like, oh, no, this is the first time we've ever, we've ever met. You know, I have to, I have to explain these, these very easy to understand concepts to you when it's like, I've already done certain training with you. So I should have already, already taught you this. So it's just getting very hard to buy that there was there was any any sort of prior engagement with these two in terms of Sabine being trained. Just none of it's there. They just pretend like oh this is the first time they've met. So what while they're having that conversation, uh, Hi Young you know fixes the ship and then uh, and then that's when all the robots and that come. I, I, I don't know why they keep sending these robots. They're useless. These droids are, are useless. I don't know why they keep sending them. But yet again, it's like, why why didn't we have any measures to, to alarm us to the presence of enemies? Why have we not gone to that length? Or, or at the very least, kept an eye out. You know, if you if you were actually keeping an eye on the on the woodland area, you would see them moving about the trees and then you could prepare properly for them. They they wouldn't be able to get you by surprise, uh, but no, they 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 haven't thought about that. They've just been completely uh, not realizing the situation they're in. They're, they're in the ship talking fucking nonsense. So we get a a, a robot fight, uh, and then all the all the other robots come. They they then realize, oh shit, there's there's enemies here. We 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 could have prepared for this, but we chose not to. So it's just you know who who the fuck gives a shit. Uh, of course, Sabine, they do the same shit. Fucking Mandalorians, I hate Mandalorians. Uh, just everything about them, you know. Again, it's like you have enemies; they always shoot at the armor. There's never there's never an attempt to try and get them in the weak parts, you know, in the parts that aren't armored. So of course she gets hit multiple times. Perfectly fine. Which I do find strange for a droid. That a, a droid doesn't have somewhat of a precision aiming. You know, they know where where the weak points are. Instead of just shooting at the armor. It's like, that's not going to do nothing, is it? So they beat them. You know, as they as you would expect. Uh, Ahsoka just tells Hai Young to, oh, contact uh, the green Karen. Contact her. Tell, us, tell her where, where we are. You know, he's got to get the comms fixed first, so she's just like, focus on that, and then contact her uh, for help. So, you, you know, we'll soon get to that. So they run off, and we we then go back to, to Green Karen. Such as she's still a, a sanctimonious cow. Uh, that's really what I'm getting off her. And a terrible mother, I might add. We'll soon talk about that. So she's got she's just already going off to to catch up with Ahsoka and Sabine. This guy comes out, says, you can't leave without authorization, but because she's a Karen, she's just like, I can do what the fuck I want. So she's still doing that. Uh, she, You know, she's just like, watch me. Such an arsehole. Uh, really is. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why the people making these shows don't consider any of this. Like, is this person coming across as unlikable? There's just no thought process there. There's, there's just there's nothing likable about this green bitch. Just there's nothing there. Uh, so then her son says, "So what she's doing is she's going to." <laughs> so it's exactly the the same problem we have with Ma with the Mandalorian, is you have Mando that takes a baby into dangerous situations. So she's about to take her ten year old son. Into a dangerous situation. She almost gets him killed in this episode. Because she's a fucking terrible parent. Honestly. But that's what that's what they do. It's like, yeah, I'm going to take my 10-year-old son here into a dangerous, high-stakes situation. What what are you doing? What, what exactly are you doing? <sighs> Again, no thought put into it. 
It's just like, oh, well, she's got to take a son, isn't she? Yeah, yeah but most people wouldn't take their, their young son into a dangerous situation. You wouldn't take your young son into a gorilla cage, for instance, would you? You wouldn't do something like that. So why would you do it here? Why is it any different here? So they're all flying off. Look, that guy makes an appearance. I, I still don't know what the point this guy serves to any of Star Wars. He's just there in every series. He makes a cameo. It's like, who the fuck is he? Why why, why does he show up in every every show except Andor? Uh, I, I believe, yeah, I don't think he was in Andor. Uh, honestly, watch Andor. It's better than this shit. Much, much better. So they're starting to prepare for... They've got to calculate the hyperspace coordinates. I, I, I don't know why they haven't done this already. You know, unless it was they just had to wait till the final hyperdrive was in there. I, I assume assume that's what it is. Uh, but I, I don't know why they haven't already done this. I don't know that, why they've waited to last minute. So she puts the little ball in the thing. And then, then that goes up through the ring and points them straight to their, their destination. And then that, that starts going back to the ship and inputting it into the ship. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why it takes that long, but, you know, whatever. So, oh no, look, the these other people have shown up. Uh, people are going to see if their theories were correct about this Maroc guy. You'll you'll be disappointed. You'll be very disappointed. So they turn up, they look at each other for a while, as you do, and then we get down to business. Uh, so yeah, you have S Sabine has ran over there with a blonde woman. Uh, so she's fighting her. Uh, we've got her fighting Maroc. Uh, and again, there's there's a lot of just standing there and waiting. We get we we get a lot of. Like, like you can be, you can have mid lightsaber fight, and the two two people will just stop fighting, and you have one person like look over there. It's like no, someone behind you has a lightsaber. Maybe don't turn away. So it's just the lightsaber fights are fucking shit as well. Uh, they are just really boring to watch. The choreography is there's nothing good about it. It's just it's just as basic as basic gets. Uh, and it's just a lot of a lot of standing and waiting. So we go to this fight first, and you know, again, th there's just there's problems. So Sabine gets force pushed into a tree. Now, the thing here is Sabine does not have the use of the force. She doesn't have that ability, whereas the blonde villain does. She has force abilities, meaning you can just force choke Sabine. You don't need to fight her with a lightsaber. It's like that you, you only fight with a lightsaber if the other person has the force. Because you can, of course, do, do counter force. You, you can do counters when someone does the force on you. You know, Star Wars hasn't been great with that. Especially Disney Star Wars. Where, you know, you have to justify lightsaber fights between two Jedis. Between two force users. So you, you've got to justify that. And the, and the way you do that is, you know, if someone does a force on you, you can counter that. Whereas... If you're fighting someone with a lightsaber and one of them doesn't have the force, you've got no reason to fight them with a lightsaber. It's just the matter of force choke. Done. There's nothing she can do about it. She can't stop you. And you get to save a lot of energy. So it's just like, why why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Just force choke her. That's all you got to do. But now nah, we've got, we got to have a, a long drawn out lightsaber fight. When it's just, and even later on in this episode, she, like, the blonde woman literally force chokes Sabine. It's like, why didn't you do that earlier? Ah, oh, I, I, I just, I don't understand it. Um, but 10 out of 10, guys, 10 out of 10. Never have I heard so much bullshit. So this, that, that fight goes on for a while. Just force choker, you stupid idiot. Just force choker. So Marot gets killed. He starts doing the, you know, it spins around and stuff. Uh, again, just more standing about, waiting for something to happen. I, I, I don't know why they do it that way. It's just, it's like when you're when you're in the middle of a lightsaber fight. Why, why are you? Why would you keep stop? Why, why would you stop all the time? Why would you stop and look at each other all the time when it's like no, you're. It's like you're in. 
a lightsaber fight. Generally, people keep fighting. So he do starts doing the spinny thing. Then he goes to hit Ahsoka and he gets killed. Uh, because he, he decided, if we can just go, so he decided to like, like rather than keep the, the spinning thing at the front of him, he decides to go, right, I'm going to turn it round, so then she has the opportunity to fucking kill me. I'm like, I, I, I don't know what his goal was there. When it's just like, if you keep it spinning, there's there's no way she can get through to you, because our <clears throat> lightsaber is just going to continue to hit yours. So why why exactly have you went? I'm gonna go left like this. Yeah, but now now she can just kill you. So that was pointless. Uh, I you know I I don't even I, I don't even see the point in that as a tactic. Oh, I'm just gonna spin my lightsaber. But yeah, but just fight her. Just fight her and look for an opening. Don't don't you know spin your lightsaber around and then just like wait. I I don't I don't, I don't see the point in that tactic. That it's just useless. So he's dead, uh, and he turns out to be... Do you know what he turns out to be? Green dust. That's it. <laughs> it's just some green dust. Uh, and, and people have spent, you know, the past couple of weeks theorising on who this Maroc could be. Could it be Ezra? Could it be, I don't know, what is it, someone called Starkiller? You know, could it be all these people? You know, personally, I thought it was going to be Dave Filoni in his cowboy hat. Uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen him this season yet. Uh, but no, he's just just green dust. Green dust. Uh, yet again, your theories were more interesting uh, than what the show actually did. Uh, so yeah, you do get to see. So yeah, he just he just turns to green dust. <laughs> so I guess he was created by that witch. Uh, just you know, again, just nothing. It's like oh, you know, people spent all this time going, oh, oh who could it be? Who could it be? Oh, it's some green dust. Fucking hell. Uh, so that stops. They both stop and stare at this. You're in the middle of a lightsaber fight. Why are you stopping to look? You know, I get that it's a bit strange. You're like, oh, he was just green smoke all along. Uh, but they just stop. And like, they they stop fighting for a while. Like, they just stand there looking. None, none of them are fight, uh, continuing to fight, even though they're in the middle of a lightsaber duel. Uh, and it's just... Again, you like you have you have this character looking over there, but it's like no, there's someone with a lightsaber here. You maybe don't want to look away from them. You may want to make use of this opportunity to kill her, uh, but no, you just you both just stand. It, it's like no one no one is seizing the moment. No one is going right. She's turned her back. Fucking stab her. It's like it's as simple as that. Uh, but no, they've got to stand and just stare at each other. Uh, she, uh, Sabine tells Ahsoka, go, you know, go to the, go to the, you know, the Stonehenge, uh, business, go over there, I'd, I'll, I'll fight her, it's like, yeah, but why, you, we, we already seen you're not good at lightsaber fights, it's like, you got stabbed the last time, and mysteriously survived, uh, when you, you really shouldn't have, you're dead, you should be dead, uh, but you're not, so, yeah, they, they're going to fight again. Still not deciding to use the, the force. Just force choker. This fight is over. This fight, the fight, you haven't got to exert yourself. You've, you've got no reason to do that. So, they're almost ready. She's like, I will prepare for our departure. Uh, protect the map until I send for you. So, he sits and waits for Ahsoka. Uh, she comes in. You know, you may, you know, there's some mention of Anakin, you know, something about a master. I, I don't, I don't believe I wrote any of this down really. I, I was just looking to get the episode out of the way, but let me just make sure, you know, because I, I don't think there is. Uh, uh, no, not really. It's just, you know, it's just, again, the the dialogue is just, it's like written by a seven year old. That's that's how the dialogue comes across. It's just the most generic generic stuff you can think of uh, i i think the 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 only way it gets helped is you know by the likes of ray stevenson who is actually trying to do his job whereas we have rosario, rosario dawson even though she's a good actor is just bored you know that's what i get from her um 
So it's, you know, really any of the dialogue that's there, it's only Ray Stevenson that actually gives it something. Um, but they're going to they're gonna start to start the fight. Uh, you know, she's like, do you really want to start another war? And he's like, nah, it's going to be Thrawn that will start the war. So they're now going to, they're going to have their lightsaber fight. You know, a lot of just stopping and looking. Uh, the thing is almost complete. And then I believe, well, Ahsoka's trying to get to it as they're fighting. Uh, this lightsaber fight's uh, continuing on. Sabine, knowing that she can't use the Force, <laughs> she honestly she, she does it like like you, like we've done when we were kids. Going, I wonder if the Force will work. We know it's not going to work, but we'll try it anyway. So that's what she she just like does that. It's like no, you already know it doesn't work. You already know you don't have that ability yet. It's not just going to magically come out of nowhere. Um, so that's when she, when she says, you have no power here, uh, wizard. Uh, so, she, yeah, Soka finally gets a hold of this thing and then it starts burning her hand and she like, continues holding on to it. <laughs> uh, and then she, yeah, she drops it. And then, yeah, she sees, uh, I don't know, the, the blonde woman runs off, I think. Yeah, she runs off. Uh, they, they continue to fight. She gets there, and then Ahsoka's like, Sabine. You know, she thinks, oh, well, if she's here, that means Sabine's dead. You know, I, I don't know why you left Sabine with her anywhere. Anyway, if you, you know, thought that. So, Ray Stevenson tells her, get the map. Uh, but, oh, no. He doesn't think to right. While she's not, while Ahsoka's standing here doing nothing, what I do is I'll kill her. No, he he lets her stop this woman from getting to the map and putting it back in this. He 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 literally watches Ahsoka do this. It's like oh well, what what, what are you doing? Well, why didn't you just get her? It's like she's weakened. Ahsoka is at the moment weakened because you know this ball has done something to her. You know, it's made her, I, I don't know, it's just made her weaker. Uh, so it's like, you know, don't don't watch her use the force uh, and stop this woman from putting the thing back in. You know, get her before she does it. But no. Uh, so it's just, it's just really, it's just, the, the lightsaber fights are just, con there's just constantly a lot of stopping and starting. Or, or like not realizing the opportunities that you have. So, yeah, they, they, he let Ahsoka do that. Good job. Uh, so he's like, it didn't need to come to this. And then Sabine turns up. She grabs the ball and she's like, step away from her or I'll shoot it. So Ray Stevenson. Oh, where are we? Yeah, he knocks Ahsoka off the ledge. Uh, of course, she's going to be fine. You, you know, again, you know, I forgot to mention that just lightsaber fights. In this show, moving forward from the first episode, don't mean anything. There's no stakes because you can just survive it anyway. So I'm not worried about Ahsoka. She's still going to be alive. Of course she is. Um, so, yeah, he, like Ray Stevenson's, oh, you should you should do as your, your master says and destroy it. Uh, and then he, he kind of realizes that she's not going to do it because of Ezra. So he's like, you know, give me the ball and I'll I'll take you there. You know, we ha we have a common goal. We 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 want to get up there. You want to get up there. So you know, I'll take you with me. You know, you you can come with me willingly. I'll make sure no one hurts you. You know, so he's he's so he's going out of his way to to get this ball back, and, and you know, he proves to be a man of his word. You, you know, again, there's more depth to this guy. There there is more going on there just within the things that he says. You know, parts of it I'm forgetting at the moment, but you know, most things he says, it's like, hmm, you know, there's something, there's something intriguing there. Uh, he's he's actually got, you know, reasons to do things. Um, so he's like, come with me, and then yeah, she gives him the ball. Uh, you know, remember Ahsoka said, can I count on you? Remember I said, no, you can't. I, and now, now look where we are. So he puts it back in the thing, and then that gets the yeah. She wakes back up, and then force chokes her. You could have done that. A, you could have done that multiple times, but you went through. You went for a fifteen-minute fight when you could have just done that. 
Uh, literally no reason to fight with a lightsaber, but whatever. So they finally got their coordinates. And then, yeah, that's when the when Hera shows up with her 10-year-old son. Great job. Great mothering going on here. Uh, and that's when they, yeah, they come to the, the anal piece uh, that flies up in the sky. They're taking them up there. So they land up there with Sabine. And, and like, the, so, our, you know, not rebels, but our, our New Republic guys are in their path. The New Republic guys, they realize that this ship is about to hyper jump. And they just sit right in front of it. And it like when it when it when it actually j goes into hyperspace, it you know knocks these ships about. A load of the the X wings they crash into each other. She's killed her own men because she didn't think shit. It's gonna hyper jump. Get out of the way. So there's a load of people dead. She could have killed her son also because she decided to take him on a dangerous mission. Um. So the ring is gone. The anal piece has left this galaxy. Uh, the the robot realizes where is everybody. We then go down the shore, and Ahsoka is still alive apparently, or she's in the what is it worlds between worlds or something like that. Uh, and then Anakin appears, and then the he, he says, "What does he say?" Uh, I I honestly just did not give a shit about this. Uh, yeah, he just says, "I didn't expect to see you so soon." And then the then it's Anakin Skywalker. Uh, and the episode ends. You know, they ended it there because that's the only way they could get, get you to watch the next episode. Uh, just, oh, dangle Anakin in front of them again. Even though we already got that in Kenobi and that was abysmal. So that is the, that's the entirety of episode four. The majority of it was spent on lightsaber fights, uh, which is, is the reason why it's getting praise. Is is just because of that. When it's just like even the lightsaber fights... There's just nothing really... There's nothing there. It's like the stake's already gone. You got you got someone who does have the Force fighting with someone who doesn't and doesn't just instantly decide to Force choke them. It, 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 again, it's just very similar to the space battle. There's just no, no logic being used by any of the characters. So it's just, it just leaves you with, you know, again, it's just like, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing nothing. I, I, I don't care about this because none of it has any meaning. It's nothing, you, you know, we have Ahsoka, Sabine. They are not built up characters within the context of the live action. Uh, they, there's been nothing to, nothing to gravitate towards. So it's just like whenever they fight, it's like, I'm not worried about them. I don't really care about them. You know, there's a reason why I want Ray Stevenson to continue to stay around because he's he's the only thing that's making it somewhat interesting, uh, but in a very very small way, and that a lot of that's just based on his performance. So again, we're not dealing we're not dealing with a good show here. It's just it's really fucking mediocre. Uh, but 10 out of 10, guys, That's I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because we had some action. We had some action with very little substance in it. Just just nothing. Just a complete nothing burger. Uh, but that, that impresses some people, I guess. But, you know, whatever. Uh, but that's episode four. I don't think I've got much else to add to this episode. Uh, but, you know, again, not much going on. Finally, we've went to a new galaxy far, far away from this galaxy that's destroyed at this point. Maybe there's something better going on over there. We can only hope. 